Oh, injector number four. I'm not very happy with you. Or maybe I'm just not impressed with the design. Who puts a structural support bar right over top of an injector? Surely this could have been designed so it was a half inch farther forward. It is what it is. Let's just get to it. In the last episode, you saw me remove injectors one to three and I got to use my special injector removal tool. And since I didn't have enough space to get that under the cross brace for number four, I tried to make my own adapter. This, it's um, kind of like a really badly made, not very adjustable universal joint for an injector puller. And you can see it's on a little bit of an angle, which didn't work at all. Now I have a theory as to why that didn't work. The injector removal tool moves a large heavy weight up and down. The resulting inertia of the upward movement and stop pulls on the injector. Woo! But the adapter that I made had a bolt going through it and there was looseness there. And that meant that all the inertia was going into the bolt, which is why it sheared. So I did a little bit of head scratching and I redesigned it. This time I'm going heavy duty. After a little bit of cutting, grinding, and welding, here's injector number four, puller adapter version 2.0. So what's the difference? Well, this one bolts together tight, which means the vibration can't be absorbed in a loose connection, which means every ounce of energy that comes in here, other than the losses through the 90 degree transfer, which are probably significant, should be transferred directly to the top of the injector. Now with a rigid extension, I should be able to get the injector puller tool almost directly above the injector. So what do you say? Let's give it a try. First up, I'm gonna remove the 3D printed cap that I placed on the injector to protect it from dust. And we should be able to spin this on. And I've left the tube spacer high enough so that it clears the plug. And there we go, that's tight. Next, I'm going to drop the adapter bolt down from the top. You can see that's now clearing the cross brace and I just need to snug the nut up on the bottom and make that a rigid connection. Well, I really hope this works. That definitely sounds like it's doing what it's supposed to. Well, that didn't last too long, but I think that's a good thing. What happened was the weld between the nut and the elbow adapter that I made sheared in half. But that tells me there's a lot of force going from this part to the nut, which is attached to the injector. Reality is I'd really only done two really small tacks on here. So with a much bigger weld around there, I don't think I'll need to worry about that. And now I know there is a lot of pulling force going to the top of the injector. One of the unfortunate downsides of the adapter that I'm making is that I don't really have a whole lot of room for weld. The nut is actually fairly large and it comes very close to the edge of the plastic part of the injector. So when I put a weld on it, I have to grind most of it back off again. But that said, a full perimeter weld around the nut ground back down is gonna be much stronger than two small tacks ground back down. It is probably also worth noting that for the past week, I've been dousing the base of this injector with PB Blaster. My hope is that the PB Blaster can soak down around the injector and loosen up anything that's holding it in there. Now there's good news and bad news here. See, the PB Blaster has been soaking down around the injector, but that also means that any water that's got in there for the last 11 or so years has also been able to go down there. And that's really not good because the injectors are steel and this is aluminum. And that means they're gonna react and corrode down inside there, which really is the cause of having to go through this entire process. Well, let's try it again and see what happens this time. I don't think so. No. 
I've been bouncing around on this injector for about three minutes now and it's not showing any signs of moving at all. What would you do in this situation? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just gonna keep going for a bit. In slow-mo we can see and hear that it's definitely hitting on the upstroke but either there isn't enough momentum or this injector is seriously stuck. This is not looking so good is it? So. Is that not the right tool for the job? Or is that injector not coming out no matter what I do? And if that is the case, should I give up now before I cause more damage than it's worth? Because here's the reality, I'm only taking this injector out to have it checked. So should I just quit while I'm ahead? It doesn't need to come out other than I don't know that it's okay. If I put everything back together and find out that it's not okay, it's really not that much more work to get back to where I am right now. So am I risking damaging this for no gain? Should I just focus on putting it back together and seeing if it runs? Because I'd really like to get back to building the camper part of this truck. If I look at the other injectors that have come out, the tips of them are clean. There doesn't appear to be any debris in there, even to the point of if I take a Q-tip and stick it in there, there really doesn't seem to be anything in there. So am I just wasting my time and energy trying to pull these injectors out? So really, I'm kind of like injector number four at this point. I'm stuck. I don't know which way to go. I kind of feel like I should change out the fuel rail and lines, put the injectors back in, flush the rest of the system, and see if it'll start. Or do I really need to continue persevering until that injector comes out, no matter what it takes? I'm just not seeing the gain there. I think I'm just going to let this simmer for a couple of weeks. I'll see what you guys put in the comments, see if I can find a different injector pulling tool, and move on to something a little bit more fun. And based on reviewing that last shot, maybe it's time for a haircut? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Maybe someday it'll all work out. Until then, go.